Let's take RadioWorks with absolutely no data in any of the tables and let's uh, create something that will put a spot right on a log ready for broadcast. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll log in and we're going to go to the setup area, click on stations and we will edit that station to say what we want. That's the name of our station, Radio Works. Works for me. Then we'll deal with spot type and we'll add spot of AO. And that's what will appear as uh, when we're scheduling spots. So save that one. And then we don't need to put in any client types because we did save you a list. That's what it looks like. You can add that or take some out, put more in, whatever so it uh, fits the way you want. Alright, the next thing we'll do is add a program title. This doesn't schedule it, but just provides it for the scheduling. Alright, we'll leave everything else here except for right here. We'll, we'll say it's a one-hour program. Okay, we'll close that. Now we will go to our client screen and we'll add a client. Isn't that a great name? And we'll give them an easy to remember ID. And we'll save that. Now we move on to the program scheduler. It comes up with Friday, so we're scheduling for Friday, but we can certainly change that to any other day of the week. So let's add a program. We got that window open. There's music in the night, the only program there. And we'll start it at midnight and notice how it changes to 1 a.m. because that is a one hour program. Start date is today. I realize when you watch this, it may be a long time ago. And the end date, one year from today. So I click Save. Now I have it selected over here, and I can go down here and add a break. So I'll just call it First Break. have to have something in the field. doesn't have to mean a whole lot. And if I want to leave the first break starting at the beginning of the show, then I'll just leave it there. And if I want it to run two minutes, I'll just leave that there. And I click this, and now we're in the break item screen where we actually put something into the break. So I'll click add item. Then I'll click over here to wake up the spot break items. There's my spot of ale. Then I'll tab to midnight. We're going to start it. And I'll put in... Notice how I'm putting in zeros, it's going to convert to O2, and it'll add the seconds. And the avail time is now 120 seconds. That's a total number of seconds available in that avail. And I'll say a maximum of six spots before it's full. Then I click Save, and it runs through the routine, and now there's a spot avail for one entire year on Friday. So I'll close that. Now I'm going to put this on the other weekdays. So we have this copy program feature. Takes me to this screen. And I double click that. There's the little horizontal chevrons. And I'm going to click Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you click Friday, that's okay. It will not copy into the same day. So it's going to copy music in the night to these other days. And you want to do that when you have all of the breaks in. Otherwise, you'll have program titles scheduled, but no breaks. So here we go. Copy. Are you sure? Yeah. And it's going to run through it pretty quick. It only has to copy to four days. And once it's done, it's going to return us to the program scheduler screen and it's pretty easy to go th to Monday and there's our show Tuesday Wednesday and so forth so we got that scheduled 
those days of the week. All right, we're going to close this. Now we're going to go to contracts. And we'll add a contract. We only have one client, so that pretty much limits it. I'll put an H in there and hit enter. And there we have the uh, company name and we have the date that it's ordered. We don't have any salespeople in there, but that's all right. There's some other things that the uh, video on contracts will tell you all about. So we'll click Save, and then we'll click on Spots. And here we go to Add a Spot, and it's going to be a spot of ale. Then it's waiting for the spot name. I have to pay more attention to my typing here. All right, we'll leave the start and end date the way it is, about uh, two weeks, I think. No source, don't worry about that. That's generally for automation. We're going to make this a 30-second spot. Remember, we have 120 seconds in the actual avail. Quantity, we'll just put 10 here. And the uh, rate, we'll say, is $10. So there's a $100 contract. Uh, copy is used if you want to put that on the log, but in this case, we won't uh, worry about that. Client type, there's the auto dealer. I double click it, and that means we've identified this as an auto dealer and we're going to avoid other auto dealers. We won't schedule into the same uh, break. All right, we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That'll be the days that we are going to run this spot. All right, we save that, and we're going to set up the schedule. And what it's doing, it's gathering all of the breaks that apply to this scheduling. Not very many, we just have this one break. So we're going to put them all in the bottom window by double-clicking. We have a lesson on building tracks, and what a track does is allow you to hold a lot of these different breaks in one name and when you tell it to load the uh, track it's going to load all these breaks and a lot more whatever it is you set up all right now we're ready to schedule so we click schedule and there we have it there are 10 right there there are no more avails so we won't do any editing we can take a look at it on the screen and see what it looks like. And that is a total of 10 spots in Music in the Night, all at midnight, and that's Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday. So that's a two-week period or 10 days. All right, now we're going to confirm it, because without being confirmed, if you cancel it, then the spots won't be on the log. And notice that we have a quantity scheduled of 10, and any time we come over here, click on the word scheduled, and you will see all 10 spots, and you can print them. All right, we're going to close this window and this window, and now we'll go to logs. And it's set for tomorrow. That's just automatic. You can change that to any day you want. But we know that tomorrow, being Saturday, uh, there won't be anything on there because we only put this on Monday through Friday. So I'm going to click in there, and there is Sunday, and there's Monday. And I know we got something on Monday, so let's click Print. And that takes us to the pre-log. And what that shows us is, first of all, the name of the program. Second, the name of the spot, Honest John's Used Cars. And the spot of ales, we set it for six, but there's only five now left. And we still have 90 seconds, so we got a lot of time left there. Normally, when you're using RadioWorks, this screen will fill up and, and uh, overflow because it will have a lot of spots in there. All right, now if I want to print it, I can print it to the screen. And that's it. Not a whole lot to it. That's pretty small, but that's what it would look like if you were to print it on paper. And the other thing is to click export, and there you would pick what export file, that uh, type of export that you're 
going to make depending on your automation system and then it would produce that file. So what you've just seen now uh, let's say that now we don't want to save this log because if we save it then it locks it from future scheduling so we'll just say no and it says changes will be lost we didn't make any changes so we close that and that from beginning to end is how you 